Hello everybody, it's Relaxing Greg back with another episode of my awesome series of Quest to Kill the Ender Dragon, and there are idols on that island for no exact reason, because it's awesome. So yeah, in between videos, Tim and I did lots of stuff for no reason. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know why, but we actually got a lot more ender pearls. And I'm gonna have to go back to the nether sometime and get more blaze rods because I'm out of blaze powder to make eye of enders. Oh, and by the way, um, I made a new helmet at protection one and I enchanted my iron chest plate. Projectile protection two, which will be good against skeletons, the ender dragon thing. And um, it will also be very useful against um, other enemies that use projectiles as attacks, like blazes and thorns, which will be good against things that try to hurt me from, com from close combat. So in between videos, I was mining and I nearly died about eh, an average of 18 times, to say the least. <laughs> And I was gathering meat for more food, and a creeper stepped in. So yeah, you can guess what happened. Feel free to guess in the comments below what the creeper did. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but just please. So, we're gonna rebuild that. And I was also thinking, we need... Oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, we kind of need, oh yeah, I'll get to that later, just ignore that thing. But we kind of need, yeah, I oh my gosh, I'll, I'll tell you later if I remember what I was say. If that happens. See if you can remind me in the comments section below what I was probably going to say, and I'll probably remember. Oh yeah, that target over there, Tim and I made a little parkour thing with the challenge. Oh yeah, I haven't used my things well in a while. I just roam. Enderman, Enderman. Oh my goodness, I need your Ender Pearls. See you, creepy. <coughs> Awesome diamond sword that I shot this one in the back of my Did he drop one? Darn it! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Well, now that we know that creepers are butt faces for blowing up our farm, which I'm pretty sure we all knew that already. from rebuilding this farm, we're going to need to do something else before we completely forget what it is. So, just a moment. Please understand. 
I'll eventually, I'll eventually remember. Trust me. Oh, we already had a hoe. I'm stupid. Um. So in the come on. In the morning, I'm going to introduce some stuff that Tim and I built, and then, yeah. Why can I not? Oh, well, I need a new bow because I lost my bow. Um. Alright, so that's string. And we can grab ourselves a bow. Perfect! Alright, now, if only we can get a little more experience, we can actually. Enchant my bow with power one, which would be nice. Alright, so, this gigantic massive thing right here is supposed to be our mod spawner. Holy, it works. It works. I can shoot the feet. Alright, hold on, let me pack out the ground here. I'm gonna sit here and just wipe his feet. And see, it works! It works! I told you, Tim, it would work. I told you. Now, these pillars and that target, let me explain. It's a parkour. So, let me just do a quick demonstration of the parkour. Ooh. I made this. I made that. That jump right there, and it's extremely tricky. You can't really do it by stopping right there. I, it's actually possible, just extremely hard, so I just get a big run up and it works. Now, here we just hop up here, and there's another creeper over there. Better watch out. Oh my gosh! So, we'll just hop over here. Hopefully, no more creeper can show up. Oh my gosh, I bumped that block right there. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um. Ooh! And when you get up here, the last jump is try and land in the center of that target. And. Done so. Alright, so, other than that, it kind of improves my sheet pen, make it bigger, whoa, getting a hit on our shot there, alright, um, what did we need to do? I had it right before we started the video, and as soon as we started the video, I forgot because I was doing a crazy intro. Um. Um. What exactly was it? Oh, yeah, the title update 14 is out, and my dog disappeared. So, yeah. Now you all know how that went. The level and kill those two creepers. I'm actually going to chant my bow. My bow. My bow. Can you chant pork chop with tasty material? And filling one so it first covers one with a hungry bar and um, it's just extremely tasty and it gives us speed. Come on, level one enchantment. Yes, please. Pretty please. Come on. You're gonna happen eventually. I got you earlier. There we are. Thought you could be sneaky, eh? 
Okay, can't beat me. Can't beat me at this game of Dungeon Champion. Can you? Can't beat me. Now, I built that staircase up there so we could get to the very top and see if any mobs are spawning in there. And I had to keep doing maintenance and um, I just left it there in case anything else happened. Oh, and that little hut up there, the little box I guess, is Tim's house. You can see why I call it a box. And he has a tiny storage room down here, a bunch of junk in the chests. I'm not taking anything. And he has a tiny little window down here. No idea why he had built this. Okay. So. What, what, what was I going to do? That. Gosh, what was it? I might have actually even said earlier on and just completely forgot. Gosh, you stop buying it. you Um, what was it that I needed to do? Um, uh, there's so many sheep in this tiny little pen. Look at this. So, I got so many colors. And sheep. Oh my goodness, I actually got my punch down. I'm curious. Curious. What did we need to do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh well, what shall we do this video? Shall we just... Uh, I don't really know what we should do. feet for us to do. Darn it. I like hitting feet. So, um, well, let's see. I could probably make Tim an iron sword. You know, there's Evan's gift right there, power one bow. It would be kind of neat for him to have. exactly what we were going to do by seeing that kitchen. Guess. Try and guess what I'm going to build. Or give me 10 seconds. Alright, if you haven't guessed by now, it's kind of, it's going to be obvious. As soon as I say it, I'm going to build a bakery where I can keep all my food and bake food and it's going to be incredible. A bakery. I know, I know it's a bit weird because it's uh, just kill the ender dragon but 
I mean, I don't feel like ending the hunting this episode, and it would just be boring, so I just felt like we could have one more episode of fun before we really get serious and just start ending the hunting all the video. So, so, so this video will be probably our last fun video before we get enough Ender Pearls. The Ender Dragon. So, how we're gonna build this bakery, I really haven't planned that out, to be honest. And you might call me a bad planner for that, but I could care less what you think. Just say. But yeah, I mean, I also gathered tons of stuff. Awesome. Anyways, so, this is going to be a large... Well, it doesn't need to be too big, I suppose. It just needs to be large enough that I can kind of, um... It kind of looks like a little bakery. And, yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you. Lots of things are going to start happening on the Relax and Grace channel. I'm going to start a Terraria series. As you can remember, the, I made one episode, it started out terribly. The second episode I made, I ex it got deleted somehow, some way. And in the end, I lost the episode, and I kind of quit it. So yeah, that was fun. And at least recently I've been trying to install install a few mods for your um just and um I'm not releasing all of those mods yet on what I'm gonna be doing because I don't know what they all are. But I know for sure I'm doing build craft and I'm, now I'm doing industrial craft. And I know for sure I'm going to be using Ore Spawn. Maybe using a few other mods. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a modded survival. So yeah, that would be fun. Extremely fun. And if you haven't seen Captain Sparkles um, Ultra Modded Survival, you need to. It's going to be kind of like that, only not nearly as many mods. Yeah, you must have, like, at least 50 mods. And in the descriptions of every video, you must copy and paste this. There's no way he just retypes it. He has, like, all of the, um, sorry, the order, um, he has all of the mods he's using listed in the description. So you can use it if you want. It's incredible. But, and I'm surprised this computer doesn't lag from it. I mean, it uses so many lights. But anyways, sorry, my dog just walked in through the dog. Um, anyways, it's going to be a real fun series of modded survival episode thing. And... What's going to be extremely fun about it is I love Ore Spawn Mod. It's basically the center of Crazy Craft. It has so much stuff in it. Like, it has, you know, like, so many new armor sets and, um, so much new armor and ores, of course, and bosses and all that, but before I do episodes, I'm going to make sure it's not laggy, and if it is, I'm going to try to my best ability to fix that, so, <laughs> I'll let you know what comes of it later on, as I get more information on a few other mods I might be using, no idea what that button was missing, um, and yeah, so you guys are all going to learn about that in the future. And I'm also going to start a new Terraria Let's Play, as I said earlier. And this one's hopefully not going to flop like the last one did. If you want to remember that one. 
Um, and yeah, it's going to be good. Real great. So, what we're going to need is. Oh my god, so these stupid shut it. I'm actually going to need a new farm of melons and pumpkins because in Title 14 there was like. I think they added. Um, a ton of stuff. Yeah, pretty sure they added tons of stuff, and I think one of the things that they added was, um, one of the things that they added was pumpkin pie, and that's going to be fun. It's just gonna collapse. But, um. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say, I added an anvil, if you saw that. I'm not sure if I added that during an episode or in between episodes, but I'm pretty sure I did in between episodes. And, yeah, I'm planning on naming my sword. The thing is, I need levels. A lot of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need around 12 or 13 levels to make my sword. So, my goodness. Let's just plug this up. Maybe we can just re pull this. Alright, eliminate the water. Grab us some wood back. I want my wood back. I want my wood back. I want a refund of my life. <laughs> um, yeah, and once I'm finished this let's play. I'm actually continuing to do some stuff in this world. Maybe like let's builds or stuff like that. Just like showing how to build stuff. And, yeah, you know, you know, you know. Bro, let's build might be fun. So the one thing I came up with, you know, to show you how to my way of building something. Thank you. 
here. No one needs to know about all this water under here. So don't tell anyone, even your best friends. If you tell your, even if you tell your best friend, I'll murder you and sue you. I'm kidding, I won't. back here and start building. update it takes more than three paper to make a book it also now requires one leather to make a book which makes sense because otherwise how would you make a common book I just want to show you guys what I was going to name my sword and how much it takes to enchant a diamond. Um, name an enchanted diamond sword. I'm telling you, it's a lot. So you may just not want to see it. Um, but, you all know my favorite Pokemon is Cyndaquil. Well, it's kind of based on what I was going to name my sword. Oh, no, look out! So I'm gonna need a lot of leather to make more books for it to enchant more stuffs. Because I'm gonna need really what I'm going to need the very most is rooting so I can kill Enderman and get tons of Ender Girls from. I think if you get looting three, which is the highest you can get, you can get up to four Ender Girls without a single Enderman. about the end of this episode here. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see and stick around for some new episodes of different stuff like Terraria and all that other awesome, cool, cool fantastic, cool stuff. I have no idea what I just said. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Da 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 da